Welcome back, folks. Chapter 5, The Fool. Long is the night to him who is awake. Long is a mile to him who is tired. Long is life to the foolish who do not know the true law. If a traveler does not meet with one who is his better or his equal, let him firmly keep to his solitary journey. There is no companionship with the fool. These sons, <clears throat> these sons belong to me, and this wealth belongs to me. With such thoughts, a fool is tormented. He himself does not belong to himself. How much less sons and wealth. The fool who knows his foolishness is wise at least so far, but a fool who thinks himself wise, he is called a fool indeed. If a fool be associated with a wise man, even all his life, he will perceive the truth as little as a spoon perceives the taste of soup. If an intelligent man be associated for one minute only with a wise man, he will soon perceive the truth as the tongue perceives the taste of soup. Fools of poor understanding have themselves for their greatest enemies, for they do evil deeds which bear bitter fruits. That deed is not well done of which a man must repent, and the reward of which he receives crying and with a tearful face. No, that deed is well done of which a man does not repent, and the reward of which he receives gladly and cheerfully. As long as the evil deed done does not bear the fruit, the fool thinks it is like honey. But when it ripens, then the fool suffers grief. Let a fool month after month eat his food like an ascetic with the tip of a blade of kusa grass. Yet he is not worth the sixteenth particle of those who have well weighed the law. An evil deed, like newly drawn milk, does not turn suddenly. Smoldering like fire covered by ashes, it follows the fool. And when the evil deed, after it has become known, turns to sorrow for the fool, then it destroys his bright lot, nay, it cleaves his head. Let the fool wish for a false reputation, for precedence among the bhikshus, for lordship in the covenants, for worship among other people. May both the layman and he who has left the world think that this is done by me. May they be subject to me in everything which is to be done uh, or is not to be done. Thus is the mind of the fool, and his desire and pride increase. One is the road that leads to wealth, another the road that leads to nirvana. If the bhikshu, the disciple of Buddha, has learned this, he will not yearn for honor, he will strive after separation from the world. Let us contemplate the fool in chapter five.